You have produced a fairly upbeat report about global recovery, notably about the euro area recovery. You are assuming, are you not, the current rescue measures for Greece and other peripheral countries continue successfully. Of course, no guarantees of that if Greece defaults or even restructures. Could I put it to you that the OEC's predictions may seem somewhat naive? Uh, frankly, uh, we believe that the recovery has take, taken hold. There is real traction. It is generalized. And we have problems in three individual countries in Europe, one for fiscal reasons, one for banking reasons, and the other one mostly self-inflicted. And I think that's the extent of it. The countries are preparing to support these countries or continue to support them. They're preparing a very solid one trillion euro safety net. So uh, we have reasons, I think, to be optimistic about the future. Europe is rebuilding itself, reinventing itself, strengthening itself, and uh, decided to help some of its members who may be in trouble. Let me just remind you of something you told us here at Bloomberg back in April 2010. You compared the Greek crisis with the Ebola virus. Let's just remind everybody of just what you said then. It's not a question of pointing fingers. Uh, the question is, it has to be done now. It has to be done very fast. It's not the question of the danger of contagion. Contagion has already happened. This is like Ebola. Uh, when you realize you have it, you have to cut your leg off in order to survive. You were saying that you have to act very, very fast. How fast have countries like Germany and its main allies acted as far as this crisis is concerned? Frankly, very fast. Remember, they ring-fenced uh, Greece with 110 billion. Then when the uh, Irish problems uh, derived from the banking crisis uh, uh, came up, they ring-fenced Ireland, and now they are supporting uh, Portugal. So the reaction has been fairly fast. And uh, I think uh, that, of course, should allow for the policies that the countries are taking to take hold. So this discussion about allowing more time, maybe uh, extending the payment terms in order to allow for the policies uh, to take hold, I think uh, 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 makes sense. The you question is, uh, we don't know today uh, how uh, uh, how much the, the measures will work. They've, they've been taking as we speak. There was a, a big package that was announced only two or three days ago. So I think it's too early to, to take a judgment about whether it, it will succeed or not. Are you the saying that Greece... Has been good. So, sorry to interrupt you. Are you saying that Greece should be allowed to uh, extend its debts, to refinance in some sort of way? What I am saying is that, uh, you know, that there's a coined a neologism recently in Brussels over the weekend uh, that uh, was called reprofiling, which meant, uh, you know, basically extending the tenors. Uh, that may allow for uh, uh, a, a discussion about uh, what to do next and how the policies should uh, take hold. But basically, the fundamental question is the uh, EU and the IMF are ready to support a European country that may have a problem and extend the safety net. And therefore, I think we're much better off than we were a year ago, much better off than we were two years ago. I'm from Mexico. I wish we would have had a safety net like the one the Europeans have when the Latin Americans had a debt problem. Even though the ECB says such a, a reprofiling, as they call it, would be catastrophic. Well, frankly, the discussion about the so-called reprofiling is among uh, the countries involved, the European uh, Commission, uh, the uh, IMF, uh, uh, the ECB, etc. Whatever the decision is, what I mean is, is that you have a much stronger institutional uh, building, a much stronger institutional network, a much stronger institutional capacity to respond both in a timely fashion as well as in terms of having sufficient armory, sufficient gunpowder. Let's just move on to another big topic that, of course, is dominating the headlines, the IMF. Do you agree with countries such as Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, that if another European uh, is appointed as the managing director, the organisation could well lose credibility and legitimacy? Their words. The solution has to be open, has to be transparent, has to be merit-based, and ideally, it should be fast. Yes, indeed. But you haven't answered the question. Do you think that if a European Christine Lagarde indeed does look like a shoo-in, but that would give a signal to the rest of the world that maybe the rest of the world's problems aren't as important as those of Europe? Frankly, the rules say 
open, transparent, merit-based, and the fast I'm adding because of the circumstances. I think those are the things that were agreed and those have to be respected. If we have uh, candidates of the caliber that we have today with Madame Lagarde, with Mr. Carstens of Mexico, I think the success of the IMF going forward is assured. Who will finally take it will depend on the members themselves. How worried are you about the deficits in the United States and in Japan? Do you think uh, Washington could use a bit of European austerity medicine? Frankly, it's not only Washington and Japan. Uh, it's practically every country in the OECD, just you know, with a few exceptions. Uh, the average debt-to-GDP ratio in the OECD is now uh, going beyond 100 percent and still growing. And the problem is, before we stop growing the deficits and the debt, we're going to get to a very high level. After that, we're going to have an extra fiscal consolidation effort to bring it down to a more manageable level. And then after that, the aging will come in, and that will that an extra effort. So we're talking 5, 10, 15 years. Uh, of fiscal consolidation which will paint uh, maybe the next generation uh, in terms of economic policy. And briefly, the will is there to do that? Uh, the will uh, clearly should be enhanced by the fact that we just had the greatest economic crisis in our lifetimes and we should avoid it uh, at all costs from uh, recurring.